Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will explain to you what it is a Lambda Edge. I will tell you where you can use it. And finally, I will show you a demo of how to create one Lambda Edge function to protect access to your static pages. So without the further ado, let's get started. The Lambda Edge is a special kind of AWS Lambda functions. It works with CloudFront requests and responses. If you are a Node.js developer, you can think of Lambda Edge as a middleware function. It can be triggered only in four scenarios. On a viewer request, after CloudFront receives a request from the end user, on the origin requests, before the CloudFront propagates the request to the origin, for example, S3 bucket, on the origin response, after the response from the origin to CloudFront, and finally, on the viewer response, before CloudFront sends the response to the end user. Yes, that's great, but why I need it, you may ask. There may be multiple reasons to use Lambda Edge. For example, the application of the Lambda Edge may be the A-B testing. The idea is simple. There will be two S3 buckets hosting a static web page. Lambda's code will randomly redirect users to a specific front-end version. Secondly, we could use the Lambda Edge for dynamic content generation. We could resize images based on the request attributes, or we could render pages based on some logicless templates, for example, master. Another Lambda Edge use case is URL manipulation. We can prettify them, or we can map the URL to match the origin directory structure. The CloudFront and S3 are designed to support one static page per one S3 bucket. If needed, we can get around it. We can deploy multiple pages to S3 and connect them with one CloudFront distribution, but then we need the Lambda Edge function. Finally, we could use the Lambda Edge to increase our app security. We can assign a request to custom origins that enforce access control. We can filter up the bots from the users, or we can create a viewer authenticator directly in the Lambda Edge code. Great, now when we know what it is a Lambda Edge, let's move to AWS console and create one. Before the lesson, I have prepared one CloudFront distribution. Here, you can see the distribution domain name. When we open the link in the new tab, we will see some basic website. Our task will be to protect access to that page. For that, open the AWS Lambda function service. It's mandatory to be in the North Virginia region to create Lambda Edge. They are not usual Lambdas and cannot be created in different regions. To start, click Create Function button. We can pick Use a Blueprint option and then search for a CloudFront. It does not matter which option from CloudFront Blueprints we will pick. We use a Blueprint because we want to have an appropriate IAM role created for that function. AWS will do that for us. To create a function, we have to name it. I will name mine Protect CF. It's short version from CloudFront. Then there are settings for execution role. As I said, we will ask AWS to create a new role. That's very convenient. We will have certainty that all required accesses are set. I will name my role protect cf function role. Then at the bottom of the page, you can see the code which will be created. Don't worry, we will change it in the next step. Please click create function. On the next page, you will see a pop-up asking you to pick CloudFront distribution. Please click cancel. Firstly, we will modify the Lambda's code. Then we will set the distribution. Scroll a little to the code source editor and delete the code. At the description of this video, you will find the link to the GitHub repo containing working code. The code is pretty simple. It's a casual Lambda handler with an additional third parameter called callback. To the callback, we can pass a modified requests and that's exactly what we want to do. So firstly, the code is searching for requests header. Then we have a hard-coded username and a password. I know, I know, but this video is only about learning how to work with Lambda Edge. 
you can implement it better in your production systems. Next, the code creates the expected authorization header. We will use basic auth to protect page access. So that's how to create a basic auth header. Finally, we compare the user's header with the expected one. If they do not match, we send an unauthorized response. Look at the headers we send with the response. By setting www-authenticate header, we will force the web browser to protect the website access. You will see it in the minute. To send this response, we pass it to the callback function. On the other hand, if the headers match, we do nothing. We pass the unmodified request to the callback. Cool. Having this function ready, please click deploy. This will make our function ready to connect to CloudFront. Next, let's move back to the top of the page. Here, you can see the Add Trigger button. Click it and search for a CloudFront. Then, you will see the same pop-up as you have seen before. At the first field in the form, you have to pick your distribution. It's crucial to pick the right one. Next, let's leave the cache behavior setting as it is. But we have to change the CloudFront event. Instead of the origin request, let's pick viewer request. We expect our Lambda to be triggered when the user enters the URL in the browser. Then confirm the deploy to the Lambda Edge and click Deploy button. You should see the alert saying that you have successfully created version 1 of the function. That's great information. We did all steps correctly. I will pause here and return when the deploy is done. Great, now the deploy is done and we can verify if our function is working. To do so, let's copy the distribution domain name and open it in the browser. Yes, now instead of seeing the web page, our browser is blocking the access. There is an alert asking of the credential. When we type correct credentials, we will see the page again. Cool, everything works as expected. Today we have learned what are the Lambda Edge functions and how to create one. Thank you for the watching. If you are keen to learn more about AWS services, please check out one of my other's video. Have a nice day.